Hello everyone, Mr. Will here for Mr. Will's Music World. Oh, that was nice, high five, that was pretty good. Okay, so today's show is all about shakers. And I have a few different types of shakers. Now, of the many instruments <laughs> that I play, I probably play shakers more than anything else. And these, believe it or not, are not all of my shakers. I have dozens of shakers and I've given many away as well. And I enjoy making different types of shakers. So what is a shaker? Well, basically a shaker, as many of you probably already know, is an instrument that you <laughs> shake. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Now, I'm playing a sort of Brazilian type of way, like a samba music to play. And it's a mixture of eighth notes and sixteenth notes. And we'll talk more about those different type of notes and note values later. However, this way that I'm playing is not the only way to play a shaker. We can play it and shake it like this, or like this. Or like this. We can play slow tempos, medium tempos, and fast tempos. You want to give it a I shot, William? Okay. Give it a shot. Ooh, nice. Very good. I want to try. You gonna try it? Very nice, very nice. All right, now this shaker I actually purchased at a store. It was made, it was manufactured, right? However, this one here is one that, what, what are you doing there? I'm using a hammer, I'm banging on something. Okay, this one here <laughs> was a shaker that I made. I didn't make the container, but I used a an empty seasoning container from my kitchen. This particular one is plastic and I filled it with well not filled it I actually filled it I put it up to about two-thirds of the way or 75 percent almost all the way and since it's couscous that I filled it with eventually it crunched up and got smaller and so it looks like it's less it looks but like that's cauliflower. couscous is an amazing type of food uh, that is eaten in various places in the Middle East and I believe North Africa as well so yummy 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 one of my favorite foods to eat however I also love the way that it sounds now the bottle what it's made out of Plastic. changes the sound the things inside of it change the sound what does this sound like compared to this one there's this one and then there's this one. It's that one's softer. much softer. Than that one. Much lighter. softer, lighter. What other words, adjectives can we use to describe this uh. sound? It's quieter. Maybe oh, no, harsh. That one's more harsher on the ears, thick. right? Harsh meaning hard. Thick. Oh, yeah. Harder of a sound, crunchier of a sound. So you can create your own shakers. Perhaps if whoever's working in the kitchen or in the house says you can, you can ask them to save you an empty seasoning bottle. Or anything else. Or another container, <laughs> right? Those empty coffee containers, soda bottles, juice, water bottles, all of these containers can be used as shakers. Now, if it was made out of glass, it would have a different sound. If the shaker was made out of metal, it would have a different sound. And speaking of metal, I have a couple metal shakers here. I, would it be metal? These are actually, this is actually tin. Well, tin is a metal. Oh, it's a metal. All right, <laughs> we have our resident professor here. So, this one was also a seasoning container. And I took the seasoning out. Well, when I was done using it, this one is Jamaican jerk seasoning. Mmm, yummy, <laughs> yummy. All right, I will place in the description where I've got these particular containers as well. So you can look down there and you can check those out, order them or find them, or find them around the house. So this one, I can't open it because it's super glued shut. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that it would not open and all the things inside fly out. But inside, minutes. You see that? 
Yep. Yep, we'll put that on camera. That big. They're actually ball bearings. They look like BBs out of a BB gun, right? And if you were to shake it, it would sound like this. Really loud, loud harsh in the ears. I didn't make this one to be a shaker so much. I, I really made this one to be more like a snare. Hits. It's still loud, right? Or you can put your hand over it and muffle the sound. And here's a big one word for you. Modulate the sound. So change it? Exactly. See, hear, hear all those different sounds? Plethora, many, of sounds. If I turn I it, that you did, nice. If I turn it upside down, then it sounds different again. Hear that? That side's much quieter. Ah, almost sound like someone was crunching. You had a mic inside someone's mouth and they were eating Captain Crunch or Fruit Loops or it's something. It's Captain Crunch. It is a cereal. Did you hear that? Do you have a generational <laughs> gap going on here? What's Captain Crunch? Okay. Well, that or I just never buy them Captain Crunch so they don't know what it is. All right. So, so we have th this one. Then we have another one. Also has, and you can see inside, this one's also tin, but... I bought this one empty at a hobby store, That's right? So cool. And it actually says shaker on it, but it's made for baking. And I used it for this. I have some ball bearings inside of and, it. And some nuts in there too. Mm -hmm. Not real like, nuts. Like metal like nuts. Metal circle things. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And we close it and, or if we play it like a shaker, Absolutely. Ah. Very good, good job. It's a little harder than it looks, huh? Now, notice that when we played it, we played it like this. A lot of times, shakers, we want to play them the long way, this mm. way across, right? Even like this one, it's longer this way. You can hold it like that, and play it like that, right? That way, it has we make it switch on the inside like so a that, swing so that like a you swing do it like this then it's only on this part exactly and it doesn't have as much oh it doesn't move. have a, so it's not as loud it's think about a, like a child or a person on a swing that's how you're making the stuff move inside right so we have these that are made out of tin out of metal right plastic seasoning bottle He's and then we have this really interesting little gold shaker here but it's not really a shaker I mean it is, it but it has a chamber inside. So it allows the things inside to only go in one direction. So if I turned it around. That's cool. Right? That way you can control it. It's harder to control these. If you just want to inside to hit whenever you want and you want to make it so that it's in the direction of the chamber. See, the chamber, this is down that way. And then you go like, flip it over. Mm -hmm. Ah, pretty cool, huh? Now, we have a couple more. We have a couple more here. So let's place that one back down here. Okay. And then we have, we have this shaker here, which is really neat because it looks like a little drum. It looks kind of like this one behind me over here, if you can see it. Like a little conga or a dundun which is from West Africa. Big drums you play in a West African percussion ensemble, right? Isn't this now, a conga? This is a cajon, actually. Oh, I didn't Yeah. Know. Okay. <laughs> so we have this shaker here, which actually has skin on both sides. It has a head on it. Now we can play it just like a shaker. Right? Now, if, because it has a skin on there, like a head, if I hold those tighter, it changes the sound. If I don't, Hear that change? Yep. Now, if I shake it and throw the stuff inside on the head, I can sh have a shaker and a drum. 
Pretty cool, huh? Nice. Now, lastly, we have a kabasa. Now, this instrument here, it's not really a shaker, but it can be played as a shaker. Right? Or, you can play it like this. That's loud. Let me try. <laughs> That's loud. Ah, it's a flick of the wrist and relax and let it down. Hey, let wow. me try it. Nice. Can also just do that. And exactly, that's what we we're gonna try. Let's have William have a try. It's harder than it looks. Ah, nice, nice, nice. It is a little takes a little bit of uh, practice to get a hold of that. Or as Layla has mentioned, we can play like this. So we have many different types of shakers. We have the kabasa here, which I just put in the shaker family. I don't remember the video about organology and classification. Oh, I remember that. So I just made a classification. It's not a traditional one. And this is a traditional instrument. And some of these can be traditional instruments in certain cultures. So we want to respect those traditions and cultures. However, we also can make our own classification so that we can come up with different songs and music, right? And use instruments in different ways. I use these instruments in the studio in many different ways. So you can play it like a shaker, or you can do something like this. Wow. And place the microphones in different places, and it sounds like it's going one ear to the other. So there's many different ways to use them. All right, everyone, this was really fun talking all about Shakers. Ah, uh, it took a second, but they got it. <laughs> Talking all about shakers. Thank you, Layla and William, for joining us again on the show. And find something that you can make a shaker with and go ahead and start making music.